What a joy and an honor it is to be with you this evening. Qué gozo y honor es estar de nuevo con ustedes. I love and appreciate your pastor so much. Yo amo y aprecio a su pastor tanto. He has an apostolic mantle on his life. Él tiene un manto apostólico en su vida. The Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 10. La Biblia nos dice en el libro de Efesios capítulo 4 y verso 10. That he gave gifts to the church. Que le dio dones a la iglesia. Some apostles. Algunos apóstoles. Some prophets. Profetas, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. Maestros. Why did he give them? ¿Por qué lo dio? He gave them for the benefit of the church. Lo dio para beneficio de la iglesia. That the body of Christ would be built up and strengthened. Para que el cuerpo de Cristo sea edificado that y the fortalecido. Body, that the body of Christ would begin to look like Jesus. Para que el cuerpo de Cristo se parezca a Jesús. That we would not just call ourselves Christian, que no solamente lo llamemos cristiano, but we would represent Christ. Sino que representemos a Cristo. We would look like Christ. Y nos parezcamos a And when the world sees us, y cuando el mundo nos vea, they can tell there's a difference. Ellos puedan ver que hay una diferencia. How many of you are glad Jesus lives big in you? Cuando ustedes están gozosos de que Jesús vive en su corazón. As I said, it is a joy to be with you. Como le he dicho, es un gozo estar con ustedes. Over the past two years, there has been a lot of challenge for the body of Christ globally. En los últimos dos años han visto muchos problemas en el cuerpo de Cristo. Sometimes when we go through things here in America, we can become short-sighted. Algunas veces cuando estamos pasando por algo podemos ser de corta vista. And we think it's only happening to us. Y creamos que solamente nos está sucediendo a nosotros. But all over the world. Pero en todo el mundo. People have been affected. La gente ha sido afectada. They've been affected by the pandemic. Han sido afectadas por la pandemia. They were affected economically. Económicamente. They are being affected even by their governments. Y por sus gobiernos. There are so many things Hay tantas cosas that are affecting people in the world. Que nos afecta a nosotros en el mundo. People go to bed hungry at night. Hay gente que se acuestan con hambre por la because noche. there is a famine in many parts of the world. Porque hay, están pasando hambre en muchas partes del mundo. There are others that are facing different types of disease. Hay otro que tienen diferente clase de enfermedades. And they do not have the benefit that we have. Y no tienen los beneficios que nosotros tenemos. They do not have access to the medical care we have. No pueden ir a los doctores como nosotros. And so many of them suffer and die. Y tanto de ellos sufren y se mueren. But that's where the gospel of Jesus Christ comes in. Pero ahí es que viene el Evangelio de Jesús. Because no matter where we go, no matter their condition, no matter the challenges they face, when we preach Jesus Christ and Him crucified, His power flows and lives are changed. I hope that you realize God has put you here at this time. Que Dios lo ha puesto aquí y a este tiempo. And when I say here, I'm talking about on planet Earth. Y cuando digo aquí, estoy hablando del planeta Tierra. He has placed you here. Y lo ha puesto aquí. With a divine purpose. Para un, para un propósito divino. And you carry answers and solutions. Y aquí usted tiene respuestas y soluciones that can and will meet the need of people everywhere you go. Que resolverán las necesidades de la persona donde quiera que usted vaya. Amen. Amen. I want to share with you something the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me. Le voy a decir algo que el Espíritu me ha estado dando. And I'm going to be looking at a passage of scripture in the book of Genesis chapter 28. Genesis capítulo 28. I will read only two verses. Genesis 28, verses 16 and 17. When Jacob arose from his sleep, he thought, 
Surely the Lord is in this place, and I was not aware of it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place. This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Y despertó Jacob de su sueño y dijo, Ciertamente Jehová está en este lugar, y yo no lo sabía. Y tuvo miedo y dijo, ¿Cuán terrible es este lugar? No es otra cosa que casa de Dios y puerta del cielo. Amén. Father, we thank you tonight for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We confess before heaven and earth that except you help us, we cannot do your will. But I am convinced as always that your spirit will come and enable us. You will empower us for this moment to speak your words. To communicate what is on your heart. To say what the people need to hear. Help us to have a receptive heart and mind tonight. Help us to be hearers of the word. And then to become doers of the word. I thank you in advance that there will be good results here tonight. There will be great results here tonight because your word has power and we give you praise in Jesus name I hope you realize how blessed you are to be in this place because this is not just another church this is a place that God himself has designed for this hour. Something God is ever making me aware of is that we are living in times of the open heavens. If we only look through human perspective, si solamente miramos por los ojos humanos, we can get discouraged. No podemos, eh, But when we look at things through the eyes of God's word, our faith rises. Nuestra fe crece. Our heart is encouraged. Because we know God is greater than any challenge, any difficulty, any storm, or any giant. We know God is greater. If you believe that, say amen. There are three things, Pastor, that the Holy Spirit has really planted and painted in my heart. There are portal places. There are portal moments. And there are portal people. How many of you understand portal? A place of access. Es un sitio de acceso. An opening that can get you from one dimension to another dimension. Algo que se abre para llevarlo de una dimensión a otra. Many, many years ago, scientists discovered what they call a black hole in our universe. Muchos años atrás, los científicos descubrieron un hoyo en el universo. They're not sure what's on the other side. And today they tell us that there are a multitude of black holes. And if you were to pass through, you would enter into a dimension that no one knows anything about. Because nobody living on this side of the portal has ever seen the other side. Porque nadie viviendo en este lado del portal ha pasado al otro lado. In the realm of the spirit, 
en el espíritu, there are portals everywhere right now. Hay portales en todos los lugares ahora mismo. They are points of access. Hay punto de acceso. These portals give us the ability to move from where we are to the greater in God. The difference for you and I is that the Holy Spirit is calling us to come through the portal. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, we have the ability to go through the portal. But it can only happen when you're in the right place at the right moment with the right attitude. Because there can be people in the same place and don't realize what God has made available. There can be people occupying the same moment and yet they don't realize they're standing in the dimension of the supernatural. I've come to announce to you tonight this is a portal place. I'm going to say it again. This is a portal place. And for those of you that may not have grasped it yet, this is a portal moment. And for those of you that have not quite caught up, you are a portal person. That means that God has marked you for this hour. And the Holy Spirit is calling you to come into new dimensions of grace. Into new dimensions of glory. The Holy Spirit is calling you. And he's saying, don't you see the opening? Don't you see the point of access? Don't you realize there's a portal just above you? Lift up your head. Begin to thank God. There's a portal. There's a point of access. And it's right above where you are. The story that we just read in the book of Genesis is about the grandson of Abraham. Abraham's grandson's name was Jacob. Now all of his life he'd been known as a liar. He'd been known as a cheater. He had been known as a deceiver. And here he is on the journey of life. In the nighttime, at a hard place. What did the scripture say? If you read it, if you read earlier, what does it say? I encourage you to go back and read the whole chapter. Because the Bible says that he's in a place of rocks and stone. He's tired and weary. And it has no bed except for rocks and stone. He has no pillow except for a rock or a stone. It's a hard place. But the Bible said that he laid on the hard place. He put his head on the hard place and went to sleep. And it was when he went to sleep in the hard place that suddenly 
Entonces, the heavens opened. Se abrieron los cielos. And he saw something y vio algo he had never encountered before. Que nunca había visto antes. He saw a ladder that was extended from heaven to earth. Vio una escalera que se extendía he saw angels going up and down the ladder. Y ángeles que subían y bajaban. And he saw God standing at the top of the ladder. And Jacob said, I didn't realize where I was. All I saw was the rock and the stone. But this place is the gate to heaven. This place is a portal place. It's a place of access into the greater of God. Some of you that are here, you come to church. You came tonight. You came just like you come always. You found where you like to sit. And you sat down. When you're told to stand, you stand. When you're told to sit, you sit. When you're told to praise, you lift your hands. When you're told to clap, you clap your hands. And you're going through the same motions that you always go through. But what you didn't realize is when you came in here tonight, it's the gateway to heaven. The portal is open. Access is granted. And God is inviting you to come in. Somebody say, greater glory. Come on, say it out loud. Greater glory. See, that's what God wants for your life. Jacob had never seen what he saw at that moment. It changed him totally. And it was in that moment that he moved from the normal to the abnormal. He moved from the natural to the supernatural. And it was in that place that he wrestled with God. And it was in that place that everything changed. No longer was he Jacob. No longer was he a liar. No longer was he a deceiver. But now he is Israel. He has prevailed. He has power with God. Because when his eyes were open, he stepped into the moment. I got a question for you tonight. As the Holy Spirit opens your eyes, oh yeah, will you just sit there? Or will you step into the moment? Will you embrace a divine opportunity? To go into another dimension. To experience a new realm. What will you do? Will you be casual? Or will you be convicted? When Jacob was in this environment. In the natural, it's hard. It's uncomfortable. And it's unkind. Perhaps he thought. This is such a hard place. Such a difficult season. I should curse this place. How many of you have ever been through a hard place in your life? Have you ever been through something that was so difficult you felt you weren't going to survive? I'm 
convinced. That's what Jacob probably felt like. But when he realized this is not a normal experience, this is a portal place and a portal moment. And I have become a portal person. The gate of heaven is open. And God is giving me access. God is showing me that there are answers coming from heaven as prayers go up to heaven. And God is watching over it all to make sure what you have prayed comes to pass. When Jacob woke up, he took that stone that he had used for a pillow and he stood it up and made it a pillar and instead of talking about how hard it was and how difficult it was he poured oil on it and said this is the house of God i come to tell somebody the hard places in your life are about to become a testimony. The challenges you have faced are about to become a miracle. If you didn't go through difficulty, you would never see the mightiness of God. It's through the storm that you learn to trust Him. It's through the trials of life that you learn God is bigger than everything. It's through the attacks of the enemy that you learn God is champion and conqueror. And I've come to announce to somebody tonight you may be like Jacob and you didn't know it but this is the gate of heaven. This is the house of God. This is not just a building. It's not just a building with a church name. This is the dwelling place of Jehovah. This is the house of the Lord. And tonight God has laid his hand upon it. And is opening up your eyes. Not your natural eyes. Your real eyes. Your spirit eyes. And he's moving the blindness. And removing the barriers. And he is enabling you to see. I am in a portal place. And this is a portal moment. Somebody say, I am a portal person. Say it again, I am a portal person. I recently in prayer asked the Lord some things. And one of the things I asked him was this. I said, Lord, why is it everywhere that I go? Before I am able to do what you call me to do there, I face attacks. It doesn't matter if I go to Pennsylvania here in the U.S. Or to Texas. Or to Florida. Or to Maryland. Or here in Georgia. I said, Lord, why is it everywhere I show up, the devil attacks? When I go to Africa. When I go to Europe. When I go to Central America. When I go to Asia. Why is it that everywhere I go, there's always a challenge. And God said to me, because you're a portal person. And when you show up, wherever you go, becomes a portal place. And portal moments 
appear in that place and people will be changed. The devil don't want it to happen. Hell is afraid it will happen. And I'm here to tell you the devil can't stop it. No man. No woman. No devil can stop what God has planned for us. You went through a pandemic. But you're still here. The devil thought you wouldn't be here. The devil thought he would take you out. He thought you would quit because it was too tough. But you're still here and you're standing by faith. There are some of you that not only battled physically, but you battled emotionally. You battled mentally. You battled in your finances. Some of you have battled in your marriage. But thank God, through it all, you're still standing. And I decree tonight that the banner of victory is waving over your life. You are not defeated, neither will you be. You are victorious. I said you are victorious. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you want to know what a champion looks like, come on, tell them, say, neighbor, if you want to know what a champion looks like, take a picture of me. <laughs> say, take a picture of me. You're a champion. You're victorious. You're more than a conqueror. Yeah, you've been through some things. But the good news is you made it through. And the better news is your best is still yet to come. And you're in a good place right now. You need to shake yourself. Be because you're in a portal place. I said it earlier. I'm going to say it again. Like Jacob. You didn't even know it. But it's a portal place. It's the gate of heaven. Somebody said I have access. Say I have access. Say, I have access. Look at your neighbor and tell them, say, you can stay on this side if you want to. But I see a portal place. And I'm going to take a leap of faith. And I'm going through to the other side. I don't know what's over there. But I know it's got to be good. But I already see God. And he's standing there. In the portal place. And he's saying come up here. Hallelujah. Now it's totally up to you. You can keep going through the same process. Come to church. Find your seat. Clap your hands. Say Amen. Say Glory a Dios. Glory a Señor. Glory a Cristo. But nothing happens. Why? Because it's just something you do. When it becomes something you are, everything changes. 
Algo tiene, todo tiene que cambiar. I said everything changes. Todo tiene que cambiar. No longer is it glory a Dios. No, no, no es glory a Dios. It's glory a Dios. Es tiene que venir de su interior. Glory al Señor. Glory al Cristo. Gloria a Cristo. Aleluya. Y algunos que van a pensar, pero no, tiene, no tengo que hacer tanto. I don't believe you have to be that loud. No, tiene, no tengo que hacer tanto ruido. If the devil can silence you, si el diablo lo puede callar, he will destroy you. Él lo destruirá. One piece at a time. Una, por paso a paso. You want to scare the devil? ¿Usted le tiene miedo al diablo? You want to intimidate your adversary? Do something that surprises him. Haga algo que lo Don't wait for somebody to tell you. No es que alguien le diga. Just jump up and say hallelujah. Que brinque, diga, hallelujah. Don't wait for the pastor to energize you. No es que el pastor le dé or prompt you. Or que le haga lo que usted diga. Or encourage you. Hágalo por sí mismo. But on your own. By the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Desde lo, desde su interior, you stand upon your feet. And say glory to Dios. Glory to Dios. Just, each other, just push, push your neighbor. Push. Tell your neighbor I wish you would wake up. There is never been a day like this. There has never been an opportunity for the church like this. There has never been points of access into the heavenlies like this. And I see the Father. Y él ve al Padre. As he's looking all over the earth. Y él está mirando a la tierra. And he's listening. Y está escuchando. And he's hoping to hear somebody. Y está esperando que alguien. That diga. will say out loud. Oh, I will rise. Yo me levantaré. Tell your neighbor. Tell your husband. Tell your wife. Tell your children. I will arise. I will not be a spectator. I'm going to step out by faith. I'm going to enjoy this place. I thought it was just something hard to deal with. But my eyes are open. And I see it now. It's the gate of heaven. It's the house of God. Hallelujah. I said it's the gate of heaven. And it's the house of God. And if God be present, then everything else is going to be okay. Because everywhere God shows up, He brings answers. He brings solutions. He brings change. And it's always for our betterment. Hallelujah. Amen. Would you lift your hands for a moment? And would you say with me, Hallelujah? Would you say, Thank you, Jesus? Would you say, Glory to God? Would you say, I thank you, Lord? Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Bible said, 
Lift up your voice, O the gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors. And the King of Glory will come in. When does he come in? When those that are portal people lift up their voice. Lift up your voice. Oh, ye gates. You're the gate. You're the gate. You're the gate. Lift up your voice. And the King of Glory will come in. Listen to me carefully. If Jacob had stayed as he was, he would have lived a defeated life all of his years. But instead, he allowed the Lord of glory to open his understanding and when his understanding was open y cuando le abrió el entendimiento, he saw él miró, he saw él miró, this is the gate of heaven lift your hand again Levante sus manos. look up in the hand and Mire, look toward the heavens mire al Señor del cielo. and yeah. say with me y diga conmigo, this is the gate of heaven este es la puerta del cielo. Right here. Aquí mismo está. Right now. Aquí mismo está. This is. Ahorita mismo. This is. Esta es. This is. Esta es. That's what faith says. Eso fue lo que él dijo. Faith says this is. Él dijo, Esta es. Not it will be. No dijo, Esta será. Not I hope so. Ni que Not sea. maybe sometime. Ni tal vez but día. right now. At this very moment. This is the gate of heaven. Hallelujah. What does that mean? That means right now, at this moment, in this place, with this people, you can receive whatever you need. I said you can receive whatever you need. What is your burden? What is your yoke? What is your pain? What is your struggle? What is troubling your life? What keeps you up at night? Put your foot down and say tonight it ends here. Come on, say tonight it ends here. Because I see. Yo veo. Say it with me. Because I see. Conmigo, porque veo. Porque veo. Diga, diga. What do you say? ¿Qué what ves? La puerta del cielo. This is the gate of heaven. Este, la del cielo. This is the gate of heaven. Este, la del cielo. Oh, I said this is the gate of heaven. Este, la del cielo. Reach up and take whatever you need. Agárrelo, do you need healing? Do you need deliverance? Do you need a financial miracle? Do you need peace in your mind? Do you need to be refilled with the Spirit? What do you need? Reach up. Reach out. And take it by faith. You can have it now. As a matter of fact, if you're in this room, if you're in this room tonight, and you would say, Archbishop, I'm here and I have a big need. I don't care what the need may be. You say, I can't solve it. 
Ustedes dirán, yo no lo puedo resolver. If I could, I would. Si yo hubiese podido, lo hubiera But hecho. I believe God can. Pero yo creo que Dios lo puede hacer. Because I believe God has. Porque yo creo que Dios lo ha hecho. And I am convinced. Y estoy convencido. In my spirit. En mi espíritu. This is a horrible place. Que esto es un lugar portal. This is a horrible moment. Este es un momento portal. I am a portal person. Y yo soy una persona portal. And I'm going to receive my voy blessing. voy a recibir lo que vine a buscar. If that's you. I want you to come stand with me right here. Wherever you are, come right now. I have a need. It's a big need. And I need a big God to show up in my life. I need a big God to show up in my situation. I need God to change the hard place into the house of God. It shall be so. In the name of Jesus. Come quickly. Don't worry about anybody else. This is for your blessing. This is for your miracle. This is for your moment to receive from God. If you're young or old, if you're sick or you're healthy, if you're rich or you're poor, but you have a need, come down, Jesus. Come on now, begin to lift your hands up in the Lord. Begin to lift your hands. And begin to wave your hands. Begin to wave your hands. Come on, wave your hands. Come on. Come on, begin to move. Begin to move. Begin to move. Because this is a place of release. This is a portal moment. You are a portal person. You need to start acting like it. Start acting like it. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. In the name of Jesus. Holy God.
in the name of Jesus. Gracias, the glory Gracias, of the Lord is in this place. The glory of the Lord is in this place. Come on, reach up. Reach up. Receive Y la gente dice, no, yo todavía no quiero ir para allá. 
I want to live a little longer. Quiero vivir un poquito más. When it's my time, then I'll go. Cuando sea mi tiempo, entonces yo me voy. We're talking about spiritual things. Estamos hablando de cosas espirituales. We're talking about things that God has made available. Estamos hablando de cosas que Dios le ha That, that can only be understood in the spirit que solamente la puede entender and en only el understood by the spirit y solamente el espíritu la puede explicar. so you can be standing Así que usted puede estar parado right here in this church en esta iglesia right here in Columbus, Georgia aquí en Columbus, Georgia and at the same time y a la misma vez be at the gate of heaven en el cielo. I said you're at the gate of heaven not because it looks like it but because God said so and if God said it it is so somebody say it is so give God praise come on everybody everybody give him praise Let, let me just say this quickly and I'm through. The Bible tells us, Pastor, in the Old Testament, there were three feasts that were to be celebrated forever. One was the Feast of Passover. The other was the Feast of Pentecost. La fiesta de Pentecostes. And the third was the Feast of First Fruits. Y la fiesta de la, de los primeros frutos. God said, Dios dijo, these three feasts estas tres fiestas are to be celebrated serán celebradas as a memorial como en memoria forever. Por siempre. I said forever. Por siempre. It's amazing to me. Es tremendo. We celebrate Christmas. Celebramos la Navidad. And it's okay. Está bien. It's nice. Es chévere. It's nice to buy the tree. Es, es bueno comprar la, el árbol. Decorate the house. Y decorar la casa. Give gifts. Y dar regalos. But it's not in the Bible. Pero no, de, no lo dice la Biblia. And we spend all kinds of money. But these three feasts, they're in the Bible. And we have just come through the Feast of Pentecost. And God said at this season, nobody is to come into my presence empty handed. That means when you come into his presence, you know you're in his presence. And you know it's in that season. You don't come without an offering. Amen. And tonight, you're in a moment. Estamos en un momento a portal moment. Un momento portal. A moment when everything can change in your life. En un momento que todo puede cambiar en su vida. And I pray now in the name of Jesus. Y ahora oro en el nombre de Jesús. That you will hear the voice of God. Que usted oirá la voz de Dios. And that you will obey his instructions. Y obedecerá su instrucción. As he speaks to you now. Así como él le habla ahorita. Whatever he tells you to do. Lo que él le diga que haga. Just do it. Hágalo. If he speaks to you si él le habla, to give a certain amount, que de cierta cantidad, don't argue with God. No, no discuta con your él. miracle is on the other side Su of your obedience. Está del otro lado. And when you believe y cuando usted cree, and you obey, y obedece, God blesses. Dios bendice. Some of you need to stretch your faith. Algunos de ustedes tienen que agradecer un poquito su fe. You've allowed the trouble in your life to change the way you give to God. Don't do that. Don't let the devil do that. Because see in the natural, 
When it comes to sowing a seed, se trata de una semilla, if I were to go to Walmart, si yo voy a Walmart and buy corn seed, y compro una semilla de lote, you could look on the front of the package. Usted puede mirar al frente del paquete, there would be a picture of corn. Que va a haber un, una foto del, del elote. Yeah. But it's not corn. Pero no es elote. It's just a picture. Es la foto. But inside the package, Pero del paquete, there's seed, hay semilla, and it can produce corn. Y eso produce el elote. If it stays in the package, si se queda en el paquete, no corn. No, no va a venir el elote. When you put it in the ground, lo, lo siembra, saldrá, then corn can come. If you look on the back, of the package. Si mira del paquete, it will tell you the right season to plant corn. Le va a decir en la que lo It'll say plant it between this month le va and this month. Cuál mes y qué mes. And it yeah. says on the package y lo dice en el paquete, it's like a prophecy. Es como una profecía. Expect your harvest in 83 days. Le dice, Espera tu elote en 83 días. And we believe it. Y lo creemos. So we get our corn seed, so va, semilla, we plant it, y la sembramos, and in 80 days, y en 80 días, we're really watching, because there should be some corn coming up. But the difference in the spirit realm, Pero la en, en el es, we don't sow according to seasons. Nosotros no, eh, plantamos de acuerdo a la estación. Our sowing, nuestra planta, our seed, nuestra semilla, determines the season. Determina la estación. You want a good season? Si quieres una buena estación. You want a blessed season? Si quieres ser bendecido. So now. Siembra ahora. You're quiet. Oh, se callaron. That's what God told Isaac. Eso fue lo que Dios le dijo a Isaac. Isaac was in a hard place. Isaac estaba en un sitio duro. Everybody was hungry. Todo el mundo tenía hambre. They didn't know what to do. Y no sabían qué hacer. And God told Isaac. Y Dios le dijo. Don't do what everybody else is doing. No haga lo que todo el mundo hace. They're all running to the bank. Todo el mundo va para el banco. Trying to get a loan. Para que le den una, un préstamo. Going to the world system. Para ir al mundo. No. No. Plant your seed. Planta tu semilla. Right here. Aquí mismo. In the hard place. En el sitio duro. And the Bible said in the same year. La Biblia dice que el mismo año. He reaped a hundredfold. Le dio ciento por uno. I prophesy tonight. Yo le profetizo esta noche. Somebody. Alguien. Is about to reap a hundredfold. Va a, a, a recibir ciento por uno. Just don't leave here with Así your hand closed. Pero no se vaya de aquí. Release your city and see what God will do.